Are we recording? When did you tell me? Che, why didn't you tell me? Eh? Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Is that so? Ah, hello. This is Mallu Saipia. Last week, I told you that I will tell you who this Chetan is and why he's important for Malayalis. This is Che. Che Chetan. And this is a Che Chetan Chood Chaya Chatti. Yes, we Malayalis like big asinine alliterations. We like big words. It is because of Shashi Tharoor. Okay. Anyway, Che. Che in Malayalam means gosh or heck. What the heck is heck? You can say che if you're disgusted. Che poda. Or you can say che if you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Che. But in that one syllable, you communicate several degrees of revulsion, repulsion, and revolution. But revolution is che. You too can say che. And I request you to practice it. Like you say, why am I watching this stupid man on this video? Because I am also asking that question, but even though I am not even watching it. No way. No way I am watching this video. I am clicking the mouse immediately. Okay, that is the word che. But this che, che, I call him che chatan. So chatan means older brother, but not always in a biological sense. Okay, it can refer to any older male, but there are some times when you should use it and when you shouldn't use it. Okay, so don't go calling any older male person a chattern. You ask your actual chattern first before you call anybody a chattern. Okay, otherwise people will just look at you and say, Che. This Che is Che Guevara. Huh? Che Guevara is a famous Marxist. So why, you may ask, why is he important in Kerala? I'll first tell you a story. You see, I'm living in London. Huh? I'm a Mandan in London. Mandan means like fool, idiot. Okay. The English version might be idiot in correct ticket. Anyway, I'm speaking to one Spanish Amachi. Spanish Amachi is from Spain. Correct? I mean, Amachi is what you call wise elderly ladies. Maybe not so wise. Anyway, Smalu Saip, stop distracting yourself and your listeners and watchers. I was speaking to this Spanish Amachi and we asked each other, where are you from? Ha <laughs> ha, what a thing. Because all Malayalis ask, where are you from? Not till every Okay. So I say, I am from Kerala. And she says, ah, oh, communist. Eh? How? How she knew Kerala was communist? And why she? That is the first thing she said. What happened to the coconut? It turned out she had traveled all over India. And she remembers Kerala for all the lovely red flags. For a long time, I was taught that Kerala had the first democratically elected communist government in the world. But I did some research eh? and it turns out that San Marino, that small, small country, is it a country? Is it a micro country? Who knows? They had the first democratically elected communist government. They beat us by some seven years. No. Chah, anyway, chah. anyway, we are bigger than San Marino. Yeah, we are bigger than San Marino. That is enough for now. So it is still some achievement that Kerala had a democratically elected communist government. Eh? The leader of that was EMS Nambudri Part. Apparently, he had a stammer when he spoke. Some uncle of mine told me they used to make fun of him, calling him uh, some pa -pa -pa EMS or something like that. I don't know whether that's true because uncles are not that reliable as sources of information in my humble experience of being an uncle. Okay, so EMS had a stammer. What he said was that it's only when I speak. I don't know whether that's true also. That is on Wikipedia. Nothing is perfect. Kerala is quite left, but also a lot of Malus have left. Eh? So in a left state, a lot of people have left. So that is what it is. Eh? And a lot of Malus leave and we find ourselves in these hyper-capitalist countries. Eh? What a contradiction. What an irony. Eh? Also, we call Kerala God's own country, which is quite a funny because half the time it is ruled by a government whose philosophy claims that there is no God. <laughs> what a funny. <laughs> Get up. But anyway, now you know the connection between Kerala and communism. And obviously, Che being a very famous communist, 
is quite popularly seen in different parts of Kerala and his pictures and statues are everywhere. Though I have not heard yet of a Malayali called Che. If you know someone called Che, you tell me, you comment on it and then you like and subscribe as well in the meantime. Cut off. It is important to say that in Kerala, there was no violent revolution. Eh? Not so much like what Chai Chattan is known for. What he actually is, I have to read more. The knowledgeable people, please, you tell what all you know about Chai and be nice about it. Just democracy. And I think that Kerala is a bit to the left because of 100% literacy. Yes, we were the first in India to get 100% literacy. Hmm? So there you can see. It's full democracy, 100% literacy and half crazy. I don't know. Some fellow would have done some pachadi, sorry, PhD on it. So Che Chattan will always be part of my Malu identity, I think. But Che, he's on a cup. Huh? Contradiction capitalism I am. Contradiction capital. Contradic contradiction capital I am. So what do you think? Put one comment. But please, please. Please, no wars between any of you. This is just some stupid YouTube channel. Don't get upset about it. After all, we want world peace. Not that kind of peace. Peace. Not the, not the kind of peace that you want to go and take a peace. No, this is not that kind of channel. So just shut your mind and subscribe and you like it. Otherwise, I will sing my Che song. I will give you 2.35 seconds. I shall now sing one song, one Ganam. It is an own composition which I have borrowed from different parts of the world. That is what musicians do, no? They take one note from here, one note from there, put it together and say, look at my song. One, two, three, four. When you're angry, when you're cross, in disgust, at this dross. I will sing verse two. Che is for Che Chi, Che is for Chatan, Che is for Che Guara, don't ask Idara. See, I told you to like. You like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will sing another one composition. Subscribe. Che Pora.